friends, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm currently in a different setting for this video because I'm actually traveling in New Orleans right now with a couple of our friends and this is the Airbnb that we're staying at. It's a beautiful craftsman home. We're actually having a little afternoon break right now because it is so hot and humid outside. Like it's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and there is nothing you can possibly do in this heat on an afternoon like this. So we're kind of just staying in until dinner, just having a little air conditioned break inside. I wanted to actually film a video that I enjoy watching a lot myself and that is a what's in my toiletries bag video. I feel like since I travel so much, I pretty much got this packed to exactly the way I like it and it's pretty consistent every time. Sometimes I'll refill a few bottles, but other than that, everything that I use in here kind of stays the same and I've been using this particular bag for like six years. It's actually a sports sack bag and it has Bambi on it. Really, really cute. But believe it or not, I actually keep all of my skincare and my makeup in just this pouch. I like to pack light, as you all know, or as light as I possibly can while still trying to be able to look good. And a lot of times I'm taking just a personal item on the plane or I'm just bringing a carry-on and never really check in luggage. So it's really important for me to be able to pack all the essentials very compactly in just this one bag. So I'm gonna dive into this bag today to show you what is in my toiletries bag. Open this bad boy up. So the first thing I'm going to take out is my hairbrush. This one's from Tangle Teaser and it's the mini travel sized one. I like that it's really small and it's good for wet hair and dry hair. The other thing I have is of course my toothbrush, which I like to put in this sanitary case. And for my toothpaste, this is actually what I usually use for toothpaste. I use these toothpaste tablets by the brand Hello. And I use this because I like to buy the big um, tin of these toothpaste tablets and just put a few in here. I got this container from Muji and it's just really small and it can pack up to maybe like I would say 10 days worth of toothpaste tablets. The reason why I like this is because you don't always have to go and buy those mini sized like toothpaste. And when you run out, you have to buy those again. You can just kind of buy these tablets in bulk and put them in a container. I will say they are not like the best at foaming up and most of them are fluoride free. So I wouldn't say like it's an everyday kind of toothpaste, but it's really good for traveling because of how small you can kind of pack it and how easy it is to refill it. I've also got my razor because it is hot. I'm wearing sleeveless things, so I gotta make sure that I have my razor. And I've been using this Venus one for the longest time. It's really small, compact, and it works. I've also got my deodorant here. This is a mini deodorant by Native that you can get at Target. Moving on to some skincare bits. I am not a skincare snob, but I do like to make sure that my skin is cleansed at the end of the day. After a long day of traveling, I like to make sure that I double cleanse. So I'll use a makeup remover and then a cleanser, and then I'll go into my skincare routine, which I don't like to compromise on even when I'm traveling. So I kind of just put all my skincare bits in like mini containers as much as I can. So to take off my makeup, I use a cleansing balm. This is actually a container from the brand Then I Met You, but I used it up and then I've been refilling it with this other cleansing balm that I use, which is also from a Korean brand called I'm From. And again, I really just used this tiny little pot here for just for how small it is, the size and how it doesn't take up much space. So I like to reuse pots if I can and just fill it up with like bigger versions of the product. For cleanser, I use this one by Glow Recipe. It's the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. You can get this at Sephora. This usually will last me a while. Just one pump is enough and it's really gentle on the skin while also being able to clean your face really well. After I cleanse my face, I like to go in with a hydrating toner and I have mine in this little Muji container. I've had this one for a long time, but this is where I refill my hydrating toner and I just put it in here. It has the perfect spout where you can just kind of pour it onto your hand and pat it on your face and it works really well. So I love the size of this. Just cause I feel like you can get a lot of travel size containers everywhere, even at Target. But for one to be this size and also just like for the quality of how good it is, I feel like Muji has the best containers for the quality that you're looking for. 
after my hydrating toner, I will go in with a serum, like a hydrating skin serum. The one that I use here is by Beauty of Joson, and it is the Glow Serum. I also use this exact bottle on a regular basis, not just for traveling. Because of how small it is, I bring it with me when I travel as well. After that, I'll go in with my main moisturizer. I use this during the day and the night, and this one is the I'm from Rice Cream, but I put it in this little container. This one's from Target, and this one's a 1.25 fluid ounce container. It's really small. You, I just refill it every time I'm about to travel. Okay, this might be a little chaotic, but I just realized that I didn't show you guys my, my tooth floss. I use Glide. Glide is amazing, and this one's just a small one from my dental office. I also wanted to stress how much I love freebies or just like taking toiletries from the hotel because they're free and they're small and they might not be like super effective or what you're used to, but for certain products, I feel like you might as well take them and as long as they work, they work. For example, I have this body lotion here from a hotel that I stayed at recently and I don't even know the brand, it's just called Eco Botanics, but it's a body lotion and I usually use like this one body lotion from the brand Hemp's. That's really good, it's really moisturizing and smells really nice but I feel like if you're going on a short trip and you just need something to kind of hydrate your skin these hotel freebies are great and they are the perfect mini size for my lips I bring this tiny pot <laughs> again there's a trend here tiny pots I bring this tiny pot of aquaphor with me it's super small but I just refill it and it's also good for like rashes if you have them or like just any kind of dry patches that you have in your skin but I mainly use this on my lips Next, I do have these two hair products here. Sometimes I'll bring hair products, sometimes I won't. I'll always bring my leave-in conditioner, but as for shampoo, it really just depends. Like if I know a hotel is gonna have shampoo or if I know an Airbnb is gonna have it, then I won't bring it. Um, so it just depends, but I did bring it this time. I brought my, uh, I believe it's pronounced Whey Detox Shampoo. I got this in my Sephora birthday box and it's one fluid ounce, which is the perfect size. And I actually really like this shampoo. So who knows, maybe I'll purchase the full size for regular use. This next one is my Holy Grail like leave-in hair mask. I use it as a conditioner. I use this same hair mask by Eva NYC. Um, even at home, I have like the big top of it and for travel purposes, I do buy this one and I don't refill it because it's really hard to refill so I just repurchase this every time but one bottle can last me like definitely quite a few trips and this one's two fluid ounces. It is so hydrating for your hair, especially if you have colored or damaged hair, I would recommend this mask as a conditioner. Moving on to makeup, I do have this SPF for my face. This one I've talked about before on my channel. It's my favorite SPF of all time by Live Tinted and it is a 3-in-1 mineral sunscreen. Next for my foundation, I use this one by Tower 28. It is a broad spectrum tinted sunscreen and it is amazing. It has a very natural kind of coverage on your face so it's very like light to medium coverage. I just really love it. This is like my perfect shade. So I bring this with me. And as for my eyes, I have, this is probably like the bulkiest item in my bag. It's this NYX palette. And what's funny is that I only use like three colors in this, but because I really like these three colors, I just bring this palette with me. I also bring this NYX eyeshadow primer with me before I put on my eyeshadow. And then I also bring mascara. And this is good old CoverGirl. Clump Crusher Extensions. I have two blush colors. So the first one is by, again, Tower 28. It is an Asian-owned beauty brand you can find easily at Sephora. It's the same brand as my foundation. This one's an all-in-one cheek and lip color. And this one's a very, very like summery color that I've been using. I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks. I usually apply makeup really, really lightly. I like to go the natural route. But yeah, this is the perfect color for summer. And then I have this one by Merit Beauty, who has kindly gifted me a couple of products in this video. This is one of them. This is their Flesh Balm, and I love this color. This color is Fox. 
and it's very similar to the last product basically like a cheek and lip color all in one i really like this color because it's going to be a really good transition to fall it is pretty pigmented but it is very easily blendable and they have a bunch of different shades i just really like this one because it is very fallish this fall is coming up it's also super light and really small and compact and this might be all i'm going to be bringing um, in the fall and winter when i travel so love this the next product that I have here by Merit is their signature lipstick. Look at this gorgeous, elegant packaging. I freaking love it. This shade that I have is called Apertif, which reminds me of having Apertivo in Italy. Um, and actually, once you see the shade, you'll see that it's very fitting to its name because it is this beautiful, like gorgeous red shade. And I like this as part of my travel makeup because it is like the perfect pop of color especially for an evening out this is just a great going out color because i don't wear a lot of lip color um, i usually like to go with like a more natural kind of lip balm or tinted lip balm and then have like an evening pop of color so this is the perfect lipstick for me what's really amazing is that these merit products actually come in this super cute like pouch so when you order from them you will get the signature bag with these products included and the bag is really good as well for toiletries or if you even want to use it as a handbag i think it's really great also if you shop on merit's website you actually get free shipping over 40 dollars so make sure you check out their website make sure you check all their colors out and all of their products are vegan and natural and cruelty free so all of that is a plus um, when I was talking about my tinted lip balms, this one is the one that I use for when I'm not going out and just kind of like a regular basis. This one's the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm and I have this in the color Hibiscus. Okay, we have pretty much emptied out the majority of my toiletries bag, but I have a few other things that are not as exciting as skincare and makeup, but very essential. I've got my contacts here because your girl's vision is not perfect, so I've got backup contacts and contacts that'll last me for the trip. I've also got my contact lens case. And since I care about my eye health so much, I also have these um, artificial tears. These are just like basically eye drops. Let's see, more eye drops. And then I have these um, little plastic hair ties for if I wanna braid my hair. And then, you guys, I have to show you this little nail clip that I bring. I used to not bring a nail clip until I found this one in Korea and I was like, I kind of need to bring a nail clip all the time with me now. And it's, it's a good idea, actually. Um, I got this really, really cute nail clip from Korea. I just love it. It's so cute. The other thing that I bring too is Poopery. Mm, this one's van Vanillu Bourbon. However, I feel like every poopery kind of smells the same. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I have this little, little mini size one. Okay, we are in our last little compartment here. This is the perfume that I bring, my travel perfume. This one's by Mason Margiela, and this is my second bottle of this because I love the scent so much. It's called Springtime in a Park, um, and it's by the Replica line. It just smells lovely, and I'm actually sweating right now in this room because it is hot. I'm in like the dining room of our area. I'm gonna spray this real quick because I'm pretty sure I don't smell very pleasant. But yeah, I love the smell. It's very florally, it's very springtime, but I don't care. I'm gonna wear this year round and it's the perfect travel spray size. I've got Neosporin for first aid purposes as well as gauze and band-aids for if you get hurt or if you have blisters walking around too much. I've also got this deep pore cleansing mask, like travel size thing from Kiehl's. I've got some hair ties. I've also got earplugs. I don't, I don't know. Andrew does snore, but I've gotten really used to it, so I don't know why I have these, but I think I just kept these just in case, like, I'm traveling with someone else. It's not Andrew who has, like, sensitivity to noise. I want to be able to give them this. I've also got a travel uh, cotton pad and Q-tips, and then I've also got this blackhead remover. I don't really know why I have this in here, but I do. So there you go. Black hair remover. And then lastly, this is the mirror that I bring with me. I always like to bring a mirror um, just so I can do my makeup. If there's not like a big enough mirror wherever I'm staying, this one's just from Amazon and it is really small. It kind of stands up like this. And that is it. That is it for my toiletry bag. I feel like that fit a lot 
and everything that I have is just like really small and mini size. It has taken me like a lot of trial and error to figure out what works for me and what doesn't, but these are all of the essentials that I bring pretty much on every trip. Sometimes I bring a little less and sometimes I bring a little more. I will just kind of figure it out depending on where I'm going. But yeah, that is it. I'm going to clean this up now and have a little rest before our dinner tonight. And then we have one full day tomorrow. But yeah, I've been having a great time so far here in New Orleans, just eating all the food and bonding with my friends that are here. If you have any questions, leave them down below and look forward to the New Orleans vlog because I have been vlogging during this trip and eating some amazing food. So I wanna make sure you guys are able to see that. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.